so you want me to start this right now? Start us off, bitch. We're fucking I don't want to be black. I don't want to be white. I want to be white. You no, gotta say okay. that. Is the audio reco- recording? Yeah, it's been recorded. Yeah. <laughs> ATT, you guys don't know how long it's this has been, been awaited. It's been over a year. Mm-hmm. It's been over if a year. If you're our friends, you, you know you've we've been, been talking about violating this. us. Violating. Well, you know how long we've been awaited. <sighs> you've been violating us, yeah, for a long time. Different. Mm-hmm. This time last year, we were waiting on the camera. In a month's time, we had the camera. Hey, this time last year, we had four members. This time last year, it was a whole different name. It was a whole different production. It was a whole different set. It was a whole different colour theme. It was a whole different logo. Crazy. It was crazy. We we paid for stuff like... We paid for like the intro we, stuff. Yeah. We, the money lights was we dropped. using, we had. And the situation has changed. But we're here nevertheless. Yeah. We're here. We're here to provide. I'm going to admit it. I'm going to say it. We're fucking better. Yeah, better than it would have. Better than ever. Yeah. Anyways, guys, let's just let's just get into it. Innit? First topic, Hadi, go on. Hey, okay, I've been meaning to bring this up. I told Sydney I won't talk about it until it's on the podcast. Last week, Motive Friday night, Prison Portsmouth, Sea China is performing. It's a rum event, raw urban music. Shout out to you, Shaka. Shout out Shaka, for real. Um, Separately, if you live in Portsmouth, innit? You know... No, let me let me rephrase. If you live in Portsmouth and you have that the same kind of... Relationship with the club as we do, you know... When there's an event. Yeah, it doesn't pop off unless it's like a rum event. Again, shout out Island to you, Shaka. Ting. Island Ting. Afro X. You um, you men are doing God's work because mm-hmm. ain't no one out here doing these same events. It's a hundred percent success rate. Hundred percent mm-hmm. success. Rate. You know you're gonna go and have a good night mm-hmm. as long as you're with the right people. You got the right kind of alcohol. Mm-hmm. You're you're at the right drunk level. As long as as long as you're on the level. Yeah, you're, you're having a good night. Yeah. However, I went on it this particular night, yeah, and I got Sydney violating me through the phone, yeah. But let me let me tell you, man, why I'm violating. Okay. Because. Um, members of the group have been working mm-hmm. for a, like work at the weekends from like Thursday to Sunday in it. Mm-hmm. So there's as in a friendship group, friendship. Yeah, group, in our, yeah. inside our friendship group, there's certain members of the group that have been missing for a sec. So we haven't been able to have like a whole group motive in a hot minute, mm. in a while. Mm. And none of our yards are big enough to accommodate for the size of the group that was coming. Mm. So I'm like, okay, cool. There's this event. It's a rum event. It's on a Friday. I'm not working. No one's working. Everyone can attend. The, ex- the not even. Let me no. The whole uh, group uh, is uh, coming in it. No. Mm, uh. <laughs> <laughs> the whole group's coming. The girl them coming up, pulling up. The man them are pulling up. So I'm like, cool. What girl them? Let's write. Yeah, because I ended up being like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, into that. I'm still hurting over that. But I'm like, okay, cool, everyone rise. It's a rum event. It's a Friday. We're going to have a good time. We've got a booth. Cool. Cool. It's the first, like, full group link up mm-hmm. since. Cool. Since. Hey. A sec, a hot sec in it, a while. It's been a minute. But yeah. However. I just feel like clubs too repetitive, man. It like is. you, they play the same playlist. Mm. I get it, it's, a, it's an event. They're playing good music, mm. but there's only so many times you can vibe to music with your friends in, in the a same booth, environment. in the same environment, same, same venue. Club, yeah. um, like, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. Hey, get down. Hey, she timed this at the same time as the last one. I like. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, "Oh, we're doing the same script." Yeah. Same <laughs> 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 Anyway, my argument is, is it... Okay, I know it's not club every weekend for us, but in general, is it really... Is it club every day? How do you you guys feel about club culture? Yeah, I feel like we can find other activities. Mm -hmm. Like, why is it always club, listen to music, get drunk? But let's talk about the different kind of experiences that you can have or that we have with club. Mm. So you've you've got one side of it in it. It's the whole group going to... The same washed up local clubs mm-hmm. in your area. We live in a student area, like student populated area. Mm. It's it's a club every night thing. Like you walk past mm-hmm. the club, it's popping. You walk past the club mm-hmm. any day of the week, it's popping. Weekdays, it's popping. Mid- Thursday is popping. Thursday is popping. Is it Thursday? Is it Thursday? It's not. Is it first? It's not Thursday, but it's popping. When it is Thursday, it's, it's popping. popping. Anyways, <laughs> shout out to you for that. Um, yeah, you will pass a club on a fucking Wednesday and it's popping, like, in a student city. No club is open on a Wednesday. Wednesday purple Wednesday? Is there not a purple Wednesday? When have you ever been to Pop World? 
it still the club? Is it not still the club? Is it not still a Wednesday? Anywho, anywho. It's not Arkana night, innit? But regardless, if you're in the city, there's a night for you to go out. Basically, basically mm. every day of the week. Sidetracked. Anyway. So, one scenario is you're going to one of these washed up clubs, which, same shit, same recycle... Oh, let me not offend anyone. But same recycled DJs. I'm just going to say that. Offend them. I'm going to offend you guys. It's the same DJs. Mm. With, mm. Same DJs with the same, <laughs> same playlist. They don't same do no author. transitions. Mm, no MC on the mic. Mm-hmm. No like, yeah, yeah yeah on the mic. Like, no reload it. Uh, like what? Weak, I'm only bro. hearing that at Shockers events or Rum events or Afro X. Which fair enough. I again, didn't shout think. out you man. I didn't. Was it, did I not say I didn't? Do? Is it Thursday? Yeah. To be continued. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, so yeah, I feel like when you're talking about club culture, you gotta you gotta look at the scenarios. So there's that kind of vibe where you're mm. good. Just it's just a random night out mm. or one of the very accessible kind of clubs, mm. or you're and you're drinking shit alcohol. You're drinking like Smirnoff. <sighs> you're not drinking your own quality. Yeah. Granted, alcohol is alcohol in it. It shouldn't mm-hmm. be in your body. That's bad energy, bad vibes, whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the second the second scenario of of club is when we've got when you got a promoter. And you're in one of them London clubs. Mayfair clubs. Yeah, when you're in a Mayfair club. Shout out Matisse. Ha- shout out you, Matisse. He'll get us inside. Yeah, yeah he will. He will do that. He will do his thing. And he'll really... We enjoyed that night. When we went out, we enjoyed yeah. it. That's that Halloween thing. night. That was... Yeah, that was lit. Yeah. You call Lib me up Mateen. and ask me to go to prison, Portsmouth. There's less chance of me going. Mm. You call me up and say, we're going to Libs. Hey. We're on a table. That's what makes a difference. It's That's what I'm table. saying. You man are trying to do the same thing yeah. every weekend. Let's go somewhere else. Yeah, if you're trying to do... This, yeah. Just, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very different experience yeah. when you're in a different club. You're mm. in a Ma- London club. You see the, the issue You see the issue with Mayfair clubs, though? It's like you're being brought to yeah. be there. The, the, yeah. Man, then will buy mm-hmm. tables, 1K, 10K, depending if there's an artist or not. Gal, then will get in for free. We get yeah. in for free for a reason, it's though. Privileged. Let's Let's it not, really let's is, not yeah. go... We get in for free for a reason. We're there as decor. We're but there. Yeah. We're just like, we're solely there for the aesthetic. Exactly. We're not like, there for the aesthetic, but we we get in for free mm-hmm. because of the aesthetic of it. Which mm-hmm. it's not. It's not cool. Hey, I'll I mean it real. works in our privilege, I mean, it's lit. It's but lit. it's, it's yeah, different when get you get invited to man's section and they're expecting something. Yeah, when it's a thing where it's like oh. The gal them are being brought, not even the gal them, the mm. tings mm. are being brought to your table. Mm. Then it's like, I don't like the the viewpoint mm. that comes across to the guys. Because me, I'm just there to get lit with my girls in it. Mm-hmm. Look at girls night, Halloween with hey, girls Hey, us night. personally, I don't want to throw shade to other girls. Because there's other girls like us. Us, we don't entertain that. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> we don't entertain that. I'm in like, the club to, we're there to vibe, period. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the club to, to vibe with my girls period but yeah so club culture in general but that kind of let me let me get into the subgenre of living your youth mm. because there's a one side for me for mm. example i don't feel like i until this year i didn't act like i was 20 mm. i baby girl we don't do that things around here Oof. it was Oof. like you I saw that, that. <laughs> hey cool with handed she wilding um i didn't really i'm 21 my mm. 20s and even from 18 to 20 i didn't live them like a typical 18 to 20 year old even my mum always said to me she's like these are the years where you need to be mm. like, you know when yourself. you go uni you're yeah to, and i was at uni live my, the uni life bro you see my flatmates and you saw how lit my flatmates mm-hmm. were like we all got on like a fucking hey. house on fire i was really li- i was lucky with them lot. i really was mm. these men were out i'd say at least three times a week Oof. and bear in mind they're going there there's music there for me like they're going to see mm. to urban nights mm. But I just wasn't in it. The whole first year, me and you didn't really go out. Yeah. We didn't. It'd always be like, oh, there was a neon party. There was freshers. We did not attend one we freshers know, we, event. We got our tickets. We got tickets. Then, on the night. Oh, did we just film the L? We didn't even try oh, we to didn't refund, refund anything. Nah, tea, there was a tea and Wayne L. night as well. There was a... No, no, we went to that. We, we went, no, yeah, fair enough, we went to that. The neon party. I was gassed for that, I can't lie. Yeah. When I was coming to uni, I was, I'm going Why to the neon party. It was like, literally, on the night. It's us. Yeah. We literally were the problem. Yeah. You know when it... Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so what do you guys think? Is is do you think going to the club is bad vibes, bad energy, bad bad aura? energy? Though. It's just that's the thing. If it's, we pick on yeah. it from a spiritual religious standpoint, a hey, is this not like then low yeah. low vibrational? We go to the club, we see like 
It's sin the after sin. Seen in the club. It's crazy. Are we not over consuming alcohol yeah. just to to act yeah. like how we how we wanna act or like mm-hmm. like what? Moving mad. Yeah. Moving mad. We drink mm-hmm. alcohol to move mad. But it's, yeah, it's like you know what's crazy about it is we know that we could get all of us in a room, mm-hmm. the whole group, mm-hmm. and have a lit time mm-hmm. without alcohol. So without why a drop of alcohol? Exactly. So why do we anything? need to go club, go alcohol, and? what is it yeah what is it you go club it's this it's this music that's talking about Mm -hmm. mad stuff like murder Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know when you're singing that stuff you don't even deep what you're you're putting out into the Uh uh-huh you don't you don't deep you're speaking it into the yeah the tongue is powerful the tongue is powerful bro the tongue is powerful there's no coincidence that when you speak things into the universe suddenly they happen it's no coincidence that's a pow 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 i don't know about that um, let's get into clubbing in, in relationships. How do you feel Ooh. about clubbing in a relationship? With okay. your mans, without your mans? Let's get into As it. someone with a mans that's been clubbed without his mans, you, you... It sometimes, depends yeah, on how Sometimes you you'll feel it. like bread because you understand... Okay, no, 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 no. Sometimes. No, I'm, I'm, I'm not caught up on the sometimes. I'm caught up on the bread. <laughs> what? <laughs> sometimes you'll feel like bread because you're here. You understand the motive of a club. Like, mandem are trying to scout galdom and... Gal them are there to be scouted. You're like, if you're single, you're like, oh, I don't know who I'm gonna meet this night. Oh, this is exciting. Like, oh, I can mm. dance with somebody. But like, if you're single, like, you actually have to keep to your girls. And I don't have a problem with that. But like, it's when your girls are trying to do other things, it's like, okay, well, what do I do mm. with myself now? But is it bad that say you're in a relationship? Is it bad putting yourself in a situation where you know niggas are looking at you like, hmm? Mm. I hear that. Are you putting yourself in a situation where you know niggas are thinking, oh, these things are being brought to the booth. These things are being brought to our table. These things are going to drink out Don't alcohol. do that. Out, out, don't do that. Because I would drink alcohol and I wouldn't even look at you, bro. I'm not even... Hey, no, no, no. I would, I would yeah, even, I couldn't even tell you what colour shirt you're wearing. What? I would drink your alcohol. What? What's your name again? Oh, <laughs> shit. What's your name again? I didn't, oh. I didn't get it in the first place. What? what? I didn't know. <laughs> you told me. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know. Oh. Well, yeah. Just. But yeah, so... Clubbing, I think clubbing in a relationship it really solely depends on. Mm. It depends on your dynamic. dynamic yeah. Oh, did you just say dynamic? Oh! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say your partner, but I was too Yeah, I said your man. We said yeah. dynamic. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah it does. It depends man. on the dynamic in your yeah. relationship, in it. Like, if you go to the, for example, I go to the club of Halle. I know she couldn't like. She's too focused on trying to get her contacts out drunk. <laughs> Then she is to hey, be. <laughs> you will find me in those toilets <laughs> on for the two floor. hours. Yeah, wondering where. where no one will know she where I am. I'm here just trying to get my contacts out she's and trying to sober yeah, up. She's laughing to herself. Probably scrolling through some TikTok. Yeah, doing some shit. Hey. So yeah, I think, yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Clubbing and relationship really does depend. But I mean, yeah, clubbing and relationship. Those re- those. <sighs> what kind of dynamic do you need in a relationship for it? Clubbing to be peak. If jealousy trust, I guess if you don't trust yeah, yeah. Trust, there's no tr- if you're trust. worried about your partner going to the club or you have why are you with them about your partner going to the club why are you with them amen I why believe you, you need to put these men in opportunities to cheat to know whether they will mm-hmm. like you can't just take them out yeah. like no man holidays no club no mm-hmm, da 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 because mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. when they get there hey they're gonna move like they're gonna move like teenagers that ain't been allowed out the house with mad curfews what? They grew their damn wings. What? They're gonna think, oh wow, wow we, wow we, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. You yeah. know another thing killing relationships? Social media. Social media. Social media. Let's know. Let's get into it. Let's get hey. into it, Ali. Let's fucking get into it. Ah, uh, you but know I'm when you're scrolling on that for you mm-hmm. page, you see the 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 decorated hotel rooms, the big bouquets oh, of amen. roses. Amen. Hey. You see that if he wanted to, he would. Mm-hmm. It oh. creates these illusions and these expectations mm-hmm. of what you need to find, what you should find in a relationship. Mm-hmm. And I can't, like, I'm guilty of it. Yeah. I'll scroll through my feed and I'm seeing this and I'm seeing that. I'm like, oh, that's cute. That's cute. Mm-hmm. That's cute. Like, why does my man not do this? Yeah, subconsciously. No, 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 not my man, but like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so subconsciously <laughs> females have these expectations and all these ideas in their brain of what their man should be doing. Because I see it on their Instagram. You scroll mm. through your TikTok, you see someone decorating a hotel room for you. Mm. More time, please deal with the people that we're following on Instagram. They're influencers. They have mm-hmm. money. They have money. They're money. They're rappers. They're out of they're Hawaii they're because rappers, in their pay grade. Mm-hmm. They're not wait, in the same tax bracket. They're not in the same tax bracket. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. We're not. We're not even going to the same bank. 
Mm-mm. We can't be with the bank. That we, they can't. Were... we can't. We, we get can't. Declined. <laughs> we get declined. <laughs> can't get declined. Yeah, let's not talk about that anyways. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think social media is, is really killing relationships in the way of what we're seeing. It creates this idea in our brain. It creates this whole at the back of our head of what we think we should expect in a man. So mm-hmm. when you get with a man, and I'm not saying all men are good regardless, because mm-hmm. they're not... Mm. And we're not, we're not, hey, ain't in no way we're saying have low standards. No way. No. no Don't way. have low standards, but do not set the bar based on what you see on social media. Mm-hmm. Set the bar based on your, what you, no, let me not even say what you think your value is, because more time people don't even they see value their values. They value themselves lower, innit? Um, Whatever your values are, times up by 10, and then set your expectations there. Set your bar there. Don't set your bar on what people are seeing on Instagram, innit? Because... Mm. People on Instagram are lying. They're lying. They're in bad relationships. Hey. They're in toxic relationships. Hey, just, they argue yeah. with their man every day. Yeah. yeah. They're just trying to get some content. Mm-hmm. They're just posting some content. But yeah. Yeah. What else is killing relationships, man? What else? Hmm. Killing relate. There's a lot of things. Oh! Go on. Speak your Talk your shit. Gonna, the females aren't going to like me for this one. Oh. And it's not a good start to the podcast, but I'm no, real. No, you're going to scare no, no, me no, 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 audience no, 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 like no, 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 that. No, 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 because I know I'm real. We only want the real no, females. No, 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 the, the real females. Yeah, the real uh, people were saying. Room. Okay, go on. I think I might have said this to you, but I had an epiphany in it. Go on. I understand why men don't like relationships. I understand why men can be so into a female and still not want a relationship. Elaborate. I'll elaborate, and I'll tell you how I came to this epiphany. We were X or Y, yeah? Mm hmm. Just talking about club, we were not attending. <laughs> oh, oh, we were. We were not. Yes. Sydney's manager. Yes. yes. Yeah. We were not. Yeah. So, I was walking to the chicken shop. I heard these guys on the other side of the road, and one of them screamed to the. They were just screaming at like niggas just being loud. Mm. One of their friends was like, "Oh, you don't want a girl because it's gay." Do 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 something, and I was just laughing to myself. Mm. And then it, it sent me on a whole like my brain, my thought process went down a rabbit hole. Mm. And I was like, "Do you know what? If I was a guy, I don't think I'd want a girlfriend, mm. unless I know." Like, do you know what it is about guys? They're not trying to be with no bitch unless that female's going to bring peace to their life. Mm. Guys will not... See, females don't care about the toxicness. More time. Mm-hmm. Females will... Mandem get stressed. Yes. Mandem will be Mandem stressed. will shut Galden down. down. Galden will love it. Galden, Galden will love it. Feed, and love then they'll it. be bringing you dinner later on. They'll be mm-hmm. fine. Mm-hmm. And next minute they'll be like, oh, cool. Like, like they're cool. Females can deal with the toxicness. Females can mm-hmm. deal with the arguments. Females can deal with the screaming and the shouting. Mandem, mm-hmm. you can't. But yeah, so I heard... I heard this guy screaming about oh, da 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 da. What he said, and I was thinking, I get it, I get it because mm. more time, females and just deep the female deep deep the situations we've been through with female friends this year. Oh, <sighs> let's not get into it just yet, just yet. I'm not gonna get into that. It's situation. too soon for us to time. Too soon. Too soon. <laughs> the tea's still hot. It's still hot. Let, let's wait until it's like lukewarm. Uh, lukewarm needs to be freezing cold, but. Ah. Uh, anyways, um we've had our fair experiences with females in it mm-hmm. not in that way but just females are, in general females are scary bro females are I feel flipping like, terrifying yeah, I feel like the flip a female should i feel like as a man you shouldn't be in a relationship with no female unless she loves herself enough to the point where she is stable and um secure within herself mm. because otherwise it's all going to project onto you mm-hmm. so i understand because more time it's female where's easy let me, oh my let me not generalize it but more time it is females that are the moving mad in a relationship and more time it's more time it is females that are the reason go on I'm about to for this. Ah! more time it's the reason females are the reason that relate that relationships come to an what? end well not necessarily come to this <laughs> <laughs> Or well, females in a rela- relationship. I don't know culture, who that rocky, is. Rocky I've met brand. her today. I had no idea on her views and her opinions. No, nah. um, but <laughs> tell me you don't agree with me. Because okay, let me let me give you a scenario. Female who does not love herself. Female who struggles with mental health. Oh, I've been there. I've been there. There's a reason and why my diff- past relationships failed. And how difficult was that for your man? Because I've been oh, in two relationships. He cut. <laughs> Flip. I've been in two Flip. relationships where it's caused a problem. And granted, mm-hmm. my last relationship, the mental health didn't cause a pro- didn't end that relationship. Mm-hmm. But for me, it caused problems. Oh, my mental problems. health is not problems in a place. Problems want to talk about. Yeah, like. I mean, we'll talk about the mental health on Vlogpod, innit? We're not we're not going to talk about on this. Um, hey, this shout podcast. out to Vlogpod coming Shout soon. out to Vlogpod, innit? In your city. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. To a screen near you. Near you. Hey yo. Hey yo. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Um. 
Shit, man, where was I at? Um... So, <laughs> oh, yeah, a scenario where a female doesn't love herself, where she's got bad mental health, she's stressing. It's not gonna work. I can't lie because as a female who's been there, mm -hmm. if I'm sad, it's both of our problem. What? And man, them want man don't understand that. Man, don't, man don't, don't understand. Man don't understand. want it to be that no, problem. No, 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 wait, 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 let me not say man. They'll don't find the that, quickest yeah. exit mm -hmm. to the to the situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But Man, do you know what? From a guy's point of view, do you know, they don't want to deal with that. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to deal with and that. And it's not, I can't lie, a guy's saying They don't want to be involved. They don't, they don't have to. And I don't blame mm -hmm. you. I you don't, know. I don't. It I don't want to deal that's with it. In my I, head, yeah, in my no, head, no, 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 no. that's your problem. Yeah, no. That's my problem. It, yeah, no. You need to, that's a certain level of emotional maturity. Mm -hmm. You need to, I can't lie, you need to exit the relationship. Yeah. Be by yourself. Heal. Sometimes you, you heal. heal. Yeah, heal. Heal with a capital heal. Fucking heal before you get into a relationship. How does one capitalize heal? All caps? All caps. Capital okay. H, capital E, capital A, capital L. Period. Period. But yeah, your 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 problems, your mental problems, they they will reflect on your relationship. And I don't mm -hmm. think two people can come together until they're over past relationships. They're mm -hmm. cool in their mental health. They they mm -hmm. love themselves. Mm -hmm. Not even in an egotistical way, but you can't be happy for, for someone else until you're happy for yourself. I know that sounds so cliche. That sounds like some kind of cat poster. But you no. cannot love someone it's until thanks, you love bro. yourself. It's and repeated that, for a reason. Yeah. And that person, deep the person you're with, they deserve to be loved in mm. the way that you want to be loved. Not but dealing you with your shit. Not you dealing with your problems. Yourself. Yes. Unless you deal with your own problems and... Yeah. But yeah, let's take mm. that into... That's a... Oh, it's a segment time. It's segment time. It's segment time. Oh. oh. So, with this segment, because you guys are new, I'm going to introduce you. Okay, so Sydney Because you guys here. are new. We're new. Nah, they're new. Oh, we're all new. Today, I'm in charge of accept or decline. So, Sydney is going to be answering these questions. Yeah, this is the Oh, oh, shit, okay. I don't know why I was thinking it was like a, you bring nah. it up and then we both like... Nah. Nah. nah, I mean we can discuss, but we'll discuss. it's we'll your discuss. problem. We'll this is your problem. You heal by yourself. Okay. <laughs> 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 the phone is about to ring. It's a guy that ticks all your boxes. <sighs> Deep that. Kryptonite. Every single box. every box. Not bing, missing bing, a single bing. one out. No, a single no one. Flat. Oh shit. Okay. However. Oh no, what's the automaton? <sighs> He has a phobia of cats. And we're not talking no lighting. We're talking... Like, scary cat. Phobia. Like, <sighs> as in whatever the dictionary definition is for phobia of cats, like, it's that. Like extreme. As in, you know those stray cats that walk the street or just cats that go outside? Mm. Mm. Bro crosses the road. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. So who's the pussy? Him or the furball with four legs? <laughs> Cause then, oh, hey, hey, cause I, right I need, I need a man's first of all. So are you? No, really no, taking... no, 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 no. Okay, but are you ticking all the boxes? He's ticking all the boxes except from that. What are you gonna do? See, with that's AZ? a dilemma, Ex exactly. Cause she's my baby. I plan on her being. Hey, around. she's there for another twenty years. However, right. cat life spans on. She's yeah. there. You're meeting. Oh, she looked at me. In it. She just said to me, choose. <laughs> she said, choose him. me. She said, Fuck love him. me. To me, I'm not about to get rid of my baby girl. Mm. Because she, I, she was I, there first. Yeah, she was here first. Well, Damn come right. on now, that's, that's, that's a bad commitment. Point blank period. Taking care of her when I got her, and I don't plan on shutting that down for no man. So mm -hmm. I'm declining. I'm sorry, I'm declining. Ooh. Sorry to any guy that's taking all the boxes right now of a phobia of cats. But separately, yeah. why are you scared of cats? Get over it. The fuck? Yeah, all they do is purr, innit? Word, they purr. She. You're scared of. Yeah, no, because it's an ick. I changed my mind because it's an ick. If a man is has a phobia, if you have a reason, as in a petrified, as in if you're petrified of a cat, a pussy cat, of oh, this little right cutie right girl. here, yeah, cats in general cool, lions cool, tigers cool, but ain't no way you're petrified of this. Because if you're petrified of this, and I'm not, I'm not with it. It's an ick. Next caller. Okay, <clears throat> the the line is ringing right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're offered. 500k Ooh. a new identity and a clean slate in a different country of your choice you've accepted however mm -hmm. any communication with someone from the past you have to go back to your old life what about my mom wait sorry 
the last person you called is calling you are you picking up the phone i like that mm-hmm. it's funny because i like hey that. shit that gave you imagination i like mm-hmm. that i like that i like that mm-hmm. i made that up that's all me right there someone from another podcast is going to copy that remember that came from me right there Katie. 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 I, Shit. The last phone call was from, from, from one of our girls. Let me get this straight. I'm in Jamaica. Mm-hmm. With £500,000 in my bank. Mm-hmm. New identity. New identity. What's your new name? Do you know what? I'm glad you asked me that. Mm. Ever since I was a kid. You see, you see when we were kids here, yeah, there was no black um characters like that mm-hmm. in barbie or those brats which mm-hmm. is why i'm a brats babe mm-hmm. sasha sasha was always my name when you, you know mm-hmm. when you're like playing house you're playing this you're playing that whatever i'm playing with my, with my friends mm-hmm. my name's sasha mm-hmm. whatever game i'm making and i have a character my name is sasha mm-hmm. so i feel like i'd have to go with sasha sasha fierce yeah yeah and i don't know any sashas i don't know mm-hmm. your auntie so don't say that mm-hmm. so i feel like maybe sasha but okay let me let me let me tell you why i'm answering the phone I'm answering the oh, phone, babe. Oh, oh, so you're coming back to the to your previous life, yes. to this current mm-hmm, life. Mm-hmm, okay, mm-hmm. go on, tell us why. I'm answering the phone. Because, wait, wait, separately. Can I text my mum? No, <laughs> no. Maybe someone should have a fear of her. She just stopped. Oh, <laughs> she just <laughs> she's playful today. Um, okay, yeah. First of all, the family aside, because I'm gonna come back for my mum, my brother anyway. But that's my girl, and she's katie is genuinely one of them friends where she's in a category where i i don't think i can replace you you're mm. not you're not getting replaced by no country by no new identification by no five hundred thousand pounds and if i live my life when let me not even say if lord when when i live mm. my life the way that i am i desire to live my life because lord mm-hmm. knows that's already in the way my you're reality. destined yeah that shit's mm-hmm. already in my reality everything i want is already in my reality otherwise oh okay let's not get into that that's that's late okay yeah. i'm just not there yet so yeah. wherever this point on my timeline is where i already have five hundred thousand pounds and i'm sitting on a yacht in jamaica mm-hmm. it's there and i'm with my girls so for me to take the easy say? option and just take the money and take the new identification nah. blah, 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 why would i do that because if the money is point, handed to you is it really yours am i a charity case what you don't look like a charity case to me i don't feel like a charity case to me so yeah no i'm as a clan Aye. What are you wait, 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 wait. Oh. No, I'm answering the phone to Katie. Yeah, you're answering. To go back to my old life. Yeah, yeah. So you picked up the phone. Yeah. And however long it was before she called me, I mean, I'm sure I had a good time. Mm-hmm. I mean, unless it was on the flight over there. Mm-hmm. Then I'm pissed. Oh, that turbulence. I'm, Nine hour flight. That's crazy. Fuming. Fuming. That's mad. Fuming. That's all mad. Yeah. Cool. The phone is ringing again. Burp, burp, burp. One trillion dollars. I don't know. Money is just money is just an easy way to get people to do stuff in it so one trillion is calling your line right now Mm -hmm. it can go straight into your bank but if you pick up the phone there's a 20 percent chance you die no nah no nah i'm not certain man will say yes you know i'm not certain man when it's death I'm not playing. Mm. I'm not playing. Mm. I'm content about moving on to the next life, but I'm not ready. Mm. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Trillion, that? again, if I live my life right, mm-hmm. when I live my life right, mm-hmm. that ain't going to be a problem to me. Because, cool. yeah, just, yeah. Yeah. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Yeah. What would you guys do? What would you yeah. do? What would I'm you trying to see do? Co- oh, me? Mm. Oh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play with that. that. I'm I feel lost. like I'm I'm confident enough that in this life I'm gonna be successful. Mm-hmm. That's why I don't Amen. play with it like that. Like, yeah, nah. When it's my life, I'm not playing, man. I'm nah, really playing. like I don't I don't even like handouts. Period. Mm-hmm. Like I I would like to make it for yeah. myself. So for someone, that's like selling your soul. Yeah, like that's like selling your soul. Oof. That's. Hey, that might I'm actually be selling your soul. You know, because that is what is money to me. When yeah. When my life is on the line, money yeah, is Yeah, that, that sounds a lot like yeah, selling nah, your soul. That People, does, beware. That Come on now. Mm-hmm. Don't play with it. Don't yeah, play don't with it. Fooled, don't play man. with don't it. Don't be fooled. That's, that, that's fully the devil in disguise. Mm-hmm. That opportunity comes to you, that's fully the devil in disguise. Mm-hmm. That's temptation right there. I like that word temptation, but mm-hmm. I'm not giving to it. What, 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 what? What, 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 what? And Sydney right there has finished this segment. Fair enough. I'm go- First segment over. I'm liking that. Yeah, that was good. Cheers. You were in charge next week. 
I'll be searching. But yeah, next topic. Well, which kind of ties into what we were just talking about before mm-hmm. the segment. What would make you leave your mans? What would make you... And don't say cheating, because I guess that's kind of... Actually, would you leave if you cheated? My man, my man, my man. Would you leave if you cheated? Um, to my man. I love my man. Mm. I know you're watching this. Because you support everything I do. Be watching this. Period. Um, we're all gonna watch this premiere again. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna touch that again. I'm not gonna touch that. <laughs> Shit. We already lost two bottles of wine today, guys. They're gone. Yo, guys, if you knew post production, there's the stress f- setting this up. We've been here for a, a while. Let's just say we've been here for a hot second. It. We smashed two bottles of wine. N- take that back. Right now, bro said we. I smashed two yeah. bottles of wine, but um, we're here sipping still, nevertheless. Anyway, my man, my man, my man. It would I leave if he cheated? Let me give you a scenario. We like scenarios. I would have. I would love to say yes, and I would, like in my brain, I'd say yes. But deep, if you're like in love with someone, you hear it. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I no, like no, the no, girl no. Hear it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Do not. I'd leave. I'd leave. I'd leave. I'd leave. Would you? I'd leave. Do you think? Let's get into it. Let's get real. This is kind of a vlog pod topic. We're gonna get real. Mm-hmm. Do you think you're strong enough to leave? I think if I'm strong cheated. enough to leave. Whether I'd come back though. Ah. Uh. Mhm. Because I feel like I found everything I wanted, but is it what I wanted? If because if you cheat, surely that means you're not content. But mm. then, mm. is Mandem not content? Wait, that's another topic. Or... Because a guy can cheat and still be extremely happy and in love in his relationship. Yep. Which is brazy to me. The hormones? Mandem. Mandem hormones. I don't know how your brain works. Because the way you can keep your feelings and emotions out of things is scary, bro. It's crazy. It's terrifying. Because like, how can you cheat? Man said you're cheating and you don't feel a thing. You're cheating and you, you don't. <sighs> There's no emotion when a guy cheats. It's solely just a transactional body, flesh, self experience. Yeah, they're but not mentally involved in that, and that's crazy to me. It is crazy. Then if you're I not getting any I can't mental even, I'm trying to fathom it. it right now, mm-hmm. and I can't. But what? Oh, what mental stimuli? No, 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 no. Yeah, but it's like, what can she give that I cannot provide? Yeah. Uh-huh. that's the issue. And if I cannot provide everything, why am I your wife? Yeah. Why are you with me forever if yeah. I cannot provide provide everything? Find someone that can. Like Yeah. The main do you know what the main thing is, what situation is your man in mm. to end up cheating? I feel like the 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 most common topic for this is club. Club. It's club. Club. And they're intoxicated. You're drunk. A drunk mm-hmm. female's coming over to you. Oh, mm-hmm. she's, she's cute. Shaking she's yash. shaking She's yash. in this little tight yeah. dress. She, showing all mm-hmm. her body. She, and she sees you. She locks eyes on you. Mm-hmm. Hey. Your first reaction in that scenario when someone's coming up to you, they're feeling you. If you were single, you'd be feeling them. Your first reaction and your first... The words that come out of your mouth is exactly how that storyline's going to go. Because say someone comes up, comes up to your man's and they're like, oh, you're cute. If your mm. man says, oh, you're cute too, oh, but I have a girl. That's already. Yeah. But I have a girl? No. No. Nah. Mm-mm. No. Nah. Because now you've given her the opening of, oh, okay, you think I'm cute. Like, you're open, you're looking to, at me like you're open to see me that yeah. way. And we've already established recently. Mm-hmm. That's a few to the fire for females. Mm-hmm. You tell a female, I have a girl. You give them an inch. She sees a green light. You give, you give them an inch. Where's she running? How far is she running? A mile. A fucking mile. Hey, fuck that. She's doing a marathon. She's, she's doing, doing marathon. a couple... She's not doing not half a marathon. Still. She's doing the whole 20, 24? Hey, tour the Europe. Yeah. Hey, isn't that not on cycles? Tour the like, world. Tour the, the world. She's just doing the world. The galaxy. Africa. She's going crazy. Anyway, she's going crazy. You know? Europe. So, yeah. I understand how guys can be put in a situation... Or anyone can be put in a situation to cheat. Mm-hmm. But your reaction to that situation is solely where that goes. So if your man's is loyal, if your girl is loyal, mm-hmm. the first thing she says when someone comes over and compliments her or someone comes over and, and makes an advance towards her is, I have a man, I have a girl, and walk away. Or you just look them up and down and you walk away. Mm-hmm. What was... Oh, the topic of would you leave with your man cheated. So yeah, talk, let's talk about it. Go back. You go back. How long did you think it would be? Because remember, 
Guy, do you know what? Let me tell you how this scenario. If my man like cheated right is. now, I'd be heartbroken. Yeah. As, you, as, as, as you anyone would. would. You'd be heartbroken. Mm-hmm. And how can you recover from that feeling knowing he did that? How can you trust that he's not going to do that again? But let me tell you how this scenario would go. In a case where the guy would even. Well, in a case where the guy would either end up cheating or not cheating. I don't know how you men them's brains work in it, so I couldn't really speak for a guy. But amen to the fact that after a couple breaks up after the tone after the tone att when a couple breaks up the female's feeling it all at the beginning mm-hmm. the guy oh the guy the guy ain't feeling nothing the guy ain't feeling fuck all till like give you it like don't three care. months six months later yeah you're like i googled oh, this the other day what? actually eight weeks swear apparently that's what google says well until amanda starts feeling something yeah and I swear it, every time That's I'm... eight weeks too late. I'm already moved on, See? buddy. So by the, time, <laughs> so by the time your man's coming back and saying, mm-hmm. oh, um, I apologise and I did what I did was wrong. I want you back. Mm-hmm. Baby, go. I'm trying to be boy, with you. Big da, 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 da. In that moment, you either say it's too late. I'm, mm-hmm. I've moved on. I've healed. Mm-hmm. We're back to the topic of healing. With capital a. healing. Capital H, capital E, capital A, capital L. Capital I, capital N, capital G. Because healing this time. Oh, oh yeah. I yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I was like, what is this girl on about? <laughs> Spitting. By the time they come back in your life, it, it really depends on whether, mm. you've med- whether you've healed enough in that time mm. to literally turn around and say, fuck off. Or... Come, come back, baby. Please. I missed you too. Please. I missed you too. My and bed is cold. Yeah. And it's, it's cold. Amen. Oh, Hormonally encouraged to cheat. Oof. You want to start this one? You know what? I saw something here. Yeah. Mm. It said, men's brains, yeah, whatever part is sexual, mm. that part of the brain mm. is 2.5 times bigger. So, if you imagine these mandem on a night out, drunk, blah, 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 these mandem are not gonna, like, they're, they're more likely to be swayed. Not yeah. that that's not that that's justified. Mm-hmm. They're more likely. Yeah. But like, come on now. And like I said earlier, men, you're the devils for being able to do this. But the way you can com- compartmentalize your feelings and emotions from your dick and your sexual desire, your flesh self's desires. Mm-hmm. Let's get into that. Let's get into that. Go on. First of all, start us off. I'm never gonna be with a nigga that's not spiritual. And mm-hmm. I'm sure you're the same with religion. Mm-hmm. Period. If you can let yourself give in to your flesh self yeah. and not to what you know is good for your spirit, aka that your is such female. Low discipline. Yeah, that's low discipline. You your know better, so do better. Isn't making it up. You know, yeah. You know better, so do better. You know better, and you are better. If you, you if you can't better. do better, how how am I ex- how, like what mm-hmm. expectations what expectations do I have? For you to treat me, yeah. If you cannot do better for yourself, mm-hmm. like yeah. If you want to go in and exchange energies for your dick with someone else, you do that yeah. in it. But yeah. I'm, I'm, baby girl, I'm, I'm not gonna be here at the end. Mm-mm. I'm really not, baby. You're kind of putting my trousers down. <laughs> but yeah, so the way that guys can really just indulge into their flesh self. I mean, if you're not spiritual, then you're not gonna know what I'm talking about in it. Mm. But basically, the way that guys can compartmentalize between. Their emotions, like mm. I said, guys can cheat and not feel. Yeah, they're not feeling, and they could. Mm. They won't even tell you your name mm. after. It's purely sexual, not emotional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas for females, you have to mentally stimulate. As mm-hmm. for females and some men, especially men and women who are spiritual, you are mentally stimulating me to get anywhere near my bed, to get me anywhere near a room t- where things could yeah. You need to you need to tell me up here before you can do fuck all down there. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think that unless you wanna anything else on that? What was it hormone home hormone? Hormone hormone encouraged to cheat. Hormone. Okay, we'll break it down. Hormonally. Yes. Yeah. Like literally. But, oh, I've had the I've had the I've had a guy pull these cards on me before on about oh. But men are designed to be like this when he was trying to justify something. I'm not going to name their names. However, on the contrary, as much as you're designed to be like this, females get more attention, period. So we have more obstacles Mm -hmm. to pass through. Mm -hmm. And, like, come on now. Do you know what? 
you know what proves the whole point Go on. of women need to be mentally stimulated? Mm-hmm. Men, more time when men cheat, they don't care what they look like. Oh, they don't care. It's the deadest thing. I have seen some male, and I don't like hey, this shit on women. Whoever his girlfriend is, subtract that by 10, divide yeah. it by 3. I have seen and some then... men get with some questionable females. Over their girl, mm-hmm. over their wife. It's never better. It's I'm not. It's n- not. Never. Men, men don't care. I feel like a man, mm-hmm. a man can see a woman in the club mm-hmm. and be like, her tits are out, her ass is fat. Mm-hmm. I is, can get that. I can get that. So I'm gonna get that. Let me get that. Like, Let me get that. Let me do that. Even though I've got this fucking suddenly beautiful woman at the yard mm-hmm. with all of that, that that mentally stimulates yeah. me. That yeah. that's gonna raise my kids well. Yeah. No. Yeah. Let me get this thing in the club. Is pussy. <laughs> Yeah, let me get it. Whereas me- women, if you're not prettier than my nigga, <laughs> can't mentally stimulate more than my nigga. It's nigar. a myth to start with. But yeah, what else? Other than cheating, what else make you leave your man? Oh, you know what else? Mm. Capping your growth. Imagine you got a man's yeah, unambitious, mm-hmm. comfortable with normality, mm. laying in bed doing mm. nothing to progress. When he feels like, when, like, birds of the same flock flock together. Whatever that saying is. Never heard that, but I like it. So I'm going to assume you said it right. Yeah, no, I've never said it. Say it again. Birds of the same flock. Flock together. Flock together. Yeah, I sh- I, that's a, that sounds bad. Wow. So I assume so. Not yeah, right. I'm a philosopher now. Get Check me. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So if you're, your man's just going to end up being the closest person you're closest to. You're with them the most... You become a reflection of the people you surround mm. yourself by. Therefore, if your man is unambitious, unemployed, you're not going, doing where something, do you think you're gonna end up. Where do you think? Yeah. What do you expect it's for a yourself? Short road. It's a short road, and it doesn't end well. Per. It's a short road with not many paths, not mm-hmm. much direction. It's a park. It's a park. It's a small park. Yeah. It's a small only park. kids play in the park. Yeah. Not grown men. Oh. Mhm. Yeah. 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 So capping my growth, you just mm-hmm. like I need an ambitious yeah. person. If I like, see us building an empire together, mm-hmm. gets me onto the. This isn't. This wasn't a planned topic, but I've got a side note. Go on, housewives. But being a housewife, mm. would you do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Bishop, mm-hmm. do you know what it is? <laughs> oh, I've been waiting to talk on this topic topic to the world for a long time. Mm, Here's on. my thing about housewives. Mm-hmm. I wasn't fucking with it before. I wasn't fucking. But with now it. you've seen the soft life. The little feminine side. That's like, okay, let me do this. This, you know what? This for you, yeah. and you bring the money yeah. in. I think because I didn't grow up with a dynamic where I was seeing a main breadwinner. I wasn't mm-hmm. in a two paycheck family. Mm-hmm. I was seeing an independent fucking woman. Shout out to my mother Period. providing for the kids, me and my mm-hmm. brother, doing the house, mm-hmm. making her own side hustles. Which mm-hmm. you know me. How many fucking side businesses have I had? Mm-hmm. Shout out to Cindy's mom. Mm, shout, shout out to, to my mom as well. Word. Shout out to Charlotte. Shout out to Joseph. Don't want to say my mom's a government. But yeah, I witnessed my mom fucking do everything for us. Like she, that woman truly built an empire in with what she was given. Mm-hmm. So to me, I always grew up. I never was planning on being a housewife. Never being that provided for. Mm. Which, admittedly, I kind of fell into my masculine energy in that. Mm. where I was just like okay cool mm. I'm on my own grind I've got to make mm-hmm. my own money I'm providing for myself da, 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 da. Mm-hmm. and when I'm seeing my future I would never see it as a man providing for me mm-hmm. now in this day and age mm-hmm. women are fucking doing well yep. women are making their money they're making their way yeah I don't condone the way some women are making their money but we're making our money in it oh, we're on our grind we're on it's our it's just side eyed the only fans I side eyed the only fans and I did it I'm with chest I'm a side eyed too cause mm. we did it with chest chest mm. <laughs> anyways yeah um yeah so anyway let me sort of in the only way i could imagine not the only way if i were not a housewife mm-hmm. which the only way that would happen is if i'm i would only i feel like i i'd let a partner provide <laughs> for me but i don't know about the the whole providing for everything mm-hmm. unless i know you're genuinely in the situation where you can I'm with a, a rich nigger mm-hmm. type thing. But I'm also content with the idea of me having a side hustle, a passive income, mm-hmm. and I will happily pay for... In, in an ideal world, my bills are paid, mm-hmm. my rent is paid, 
food and shopping is paid for. Da-da-da-da-da. All of these necessities, all of these mm. unnecessary, not unnecessary, all of these necessary, but <laughs> things the that essentials are essentials <laughs> unnecessary. No food, no gas, no food, no, no drink, water, uh, no, no light. Roof over your head. Yeah. <laughs> all of these things, I'm happy for someone else to provide for. Mm-hmm. But please, babe, let me make some money mm. to go shopping. Yeah. Let me go and spend like, my cash that I've made from my I'm, side hustle, my yeah. passive income, to buy us clothes, to pay for your trip. I don't know if I could feel content living off someone else. Yeah. I feel like the way we're we're designed and the way like that. we've been hard drived, it doesn't make sense for us specifically. Mm-hmm. Like we have like yeah. we look yeah. at us right now, we're on a flipping podcast. Like we we have to like do yeah. something for ourselves. Like And in this day and age it's e- it's easy for see like content creators for example. Not that it's easy, but this ain't no nine to five that you go out Side and check from Izzy is sleeping on us right now. That cat has Baby, her eyes closed. Are we that boring? Maybe she's just content and she's just like, I'm gonna listen to you, mm, bitches. She's like, listen. oh wow. Yeah. We'll take, we'll As you guys should. We're I, of ATT, <laughs> you gotta listen to us instead of the thunderstorm on your way to sleep. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. No fan noises. Yeah. No thunderstorm. No said ASMR. No, storms, said, yeah. no fire crackling. Mm-mm. ATT. Mm, no jazz music. After the tune. We can do ASMR if you want ASMR. Please no. Hey, I hate ASMR. If there's a high... Yeah. The only ASMR I like is Apple's crunching. Apple's crunching? I love Apple's crunching. The sound of... Oh, oh, I don't even like eating Apple's crunching. I'd rather me. cut the apple slices up. Not that I eat No, not like me eating it. Well, no, me eating it. Actually, no. Yeah, I'm not lying. Yeah, but even if you cut it and you bite into it, is it not so crunching? Food for thought. Apple for thought. Hmm. Hmm. Anyways, forgot where he was at. Can't um, I? Yeah, as two women who have been, life has designed us to be yeah. a certain way. So I don't blame any female. That's another way. Mm. We've just been conditioned I mean, this yeah. way. If you were raised and daddy was paying for everything for you and your mm-hmm. mother, mm-hmm. first of all, hats off to him because he's in a good. He did. He position. did his team. Yeah. We're not in the same tax bracket as that nigga. Mm-hmm. But and he yeah and he did his thing for real. He really did build an empire. Mm-hmm. But and I know you know who I'm thinking about right now. I know. If a female is provided for, hey, those girls got high expectations. And you expect, oh, <laughs> that's not my cup of tea. No, nah. I don't think I could. Do you know? I prefer to be with a female who's humble and wants to provide for herself. And as a male, I would take myself, take her out of her female, take her out of her male energy into her energy. feminine energy. Yes. energy. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm cool to be in my masculine energy to a certain extent when it comes to things that like, for, for like providing for myself mm. until a man can come along and put me in my fem- in my female energy because mm. realistically we need masculine energy to survive. Yeah, I feel like the ideal is I can provide for myself, but that masculine energy is gonna make me feminine. Mm. And to let, I'm gonna allow yeah. you. I I'm gonna allow you to provide to me. For I have for the myself. facilities. Yeah. But I'm gonna allow you mm-hmm. to provide for me because mm-hmm. that's just how the world works, mm-hmm. and it feels nice. Yeah, it does feel nice. Yeah, it does. It really does. It truly does. Yeah. But yeah. What's... Does that lead us into the next segment? I think that might lead us into the next segment. You know. Ooh. I think that. Hotspot. Our Ooh. next topic hotspot. is hotspot, and this is where we will discuss trending topics. Basically, whatever's trending. Yeah, whatever's in whatever, the hot spot whatever's talking about yeah whatever's mm-hmm. on the hot spot and if you guys haven't noticed except or decline hot mm. spot oh, you don't know what the next segment let's not even spoil it let, yet, let me not let me not it's my turn this week to do the segment hot spot mm-hmm. and I had to take a screenshot cause I don't the lord knows I didn't even know what this was until you mentioned it to me mm. I didn't know the definition of UK beasts until this morning 12.19pm to be precise is when I googled it. Let me just give you the definition and we'll put it up on the screen too. A lot... You'll put it on the screen. Oh, will put it on the screen. She, she making demands already. <laughs> I'll be doing the One social. episode in. <laughs> a lot of women from the UK usually speak like road men or have a bad attitude. A masculine and rude, show no respect for anyone, very self-entitled and annoying, would not survive, sh- would not survive if shit was to hit the fan. And then in quotations... It says, she is an absolute UK beast, bro. Stay far away from her. So, basically, a UK beast is, like, a road girl. Mm. Bad attitude. So, we're talking about those South Londoners. We, oh, you went there. 
I you went there. Hey, she went I'm there not over the South Londoners since I went to Violet's that one time and a girl tried to fight me. Story time? Oh, it's not even like a story time like oh. that. <sighs> you girls? No, I don't like you girls. I don't, I, don't like, I don't like the stuff. Okay, no, you girls not, let's not, let's because not, we, are, we are girls. We are girls. We're not those girls, but we're girls. We're girls. And we yeah. support girls. girls we're not, we're not. Girls. We're girls, girls. We love yeah. girls. We love girls. But what? there's a certain calibre yeah. that we don't associate there's with. There's a certain category of yeah, females. that you got to stay clear from. You do. You got you got to know who you are and who to stay clear from. Mm-hmm. And these so called UK beats are scary. Like they are. Yeah, like, they are. <laughs> I'm scared because of what you guys. You? Who pissed in your cereal? Feed be pissed over everything. If I'm looking at you more time, if I'm looking at a female in the street and she's pretty, mm-hmm. I'm in my head. All I'm thinking is she's fucking pretty as fuck. Mm-hmm. She's cute. Her mm-hmm. outfit's cute. I like her shoes. I like her top. Bitch, where did you get your top from? Mm-hmm. But sometimes you'll be looking at a female in the nicest way, and you get a side eye from a UK beast. Don't say that because and then Kai comes at you. I side eyed someone today because but I, that was accidental. I didn't have you my didn't glasses, glasses on. on. Yeah, granted. Fair enough. You might have looked like a UK beast in that moment. But Lord knows if you had opened your mouth in that moment, if she had come over and said, oh, hi, like, I'm closer to you now. Can you see me? Mm-hmm. You're not gonna... It's no attitude. It's not a, like a why the fuck are you looking at me type shit. Mm-hmm. Your daughter just bit me. That's your niece, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she got that from you. Maybe she's hey, a UK beast, isn't it? I'm not involved. But yeah, very self-titled, self-entitled and annoying. I couldn't put that into very better words for... A lot of females from South London. Hey, she said it, not me. She said it first. I'm just going with that, innit? I'm just, just, I'm just following on from that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's what's on my hotspot right now. UK bees. I mean, yeah. I haven't heard you of You guys let us know are. how you feel about UK bees. Do you know any UK bees? Are you? Are, are you, you a UK bees? Are you a UK bees? Look within yourself. Look in the mirror. D- deep dive. Get into your... Your own energy, yeah. read your own aura. Self-reflection. Yeah, self-reflection. we love a self-aware bitch. We do we love, love a self-aware bitch. Mm-hmm. Yeah, be self-aware. Let us know. Are you a UK beast? Mm-hmm. Do you know a UK beast? Is your friend a UK beast? Ooh. And you haven't told her. If your friend is sitting next to you right now and she's a UK beast, don't look at me. <laughs> if, <you're... laughs> if your friend is a UK beast and you're sitting next to her right now, look at her and tell her you're a UK beast and pattern up, because it's bad energy, bro. Keep your energy around the other females who aren't. And these other males around anyone because mm. it's not cute, it's not cute, it's not a good look, it's not cool. If you're a UK bees, please pattern up. But yeah, next topic where are we at after that? Thoughts on working for the rest of your life. Oh, we're there already, which kind of goes on from being a housewife. Thoughts on working for the rest of your life, slash, stay enslaved to the system. Mm. All I know can never be me. And that, never uh, that's, be us. Yeah, never be us. And when we say working, it's not like. I mean nine to five. I mean nine to five. I mean staying a slave to the system. I mean, I mean staying in the I matrix. I mean employee. I mean working for yeah, someone else to make someone more someone money. Someone else's payroll. Exactly, and you're making them money instead of yourself. They're, yeah, you're mm-hmm. working for someone to put money in their pocket mm-hmm. rather than. And you're on this fixed wage. Like yeah. it just that's doesn't make sense. Thing. Hourly wage, Mm-mm. salary, yearly. Mm-mm. 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 It's Come not. on, man. Be in control. Like, yeah. it just doesn't... All I know is that... Uh, the way my brain is designed, I know I wouldn't have these thoughts and these dreams and these ideals and these visions if I wasn't destined for it. That's like torture, the flip. That is torture. That's a good way to put it. If, never, if, if I was given all before. these ideas and I was not to pursue yeah. them... That is literal torture. This creative brain and this exactly. creative soul was not meant to be trapped in the body of a flesh. It's not. Or, I mean, in the flesh body of someone who cannot achieve everything that is going on up here. Mm-hmm. And if you're spiritual and you're religious, you know full well what you speak and what you think is the truth. Mm-hmm. It's your reality. It really is. It really reflects on what happens in your life, mm-hmm. how you move, the dedication, your outlook on life. Mm-hmm. Your You have these yeah. thoughts and visions and hopes for a reason like like you're gonna like you know you know they you, they have to manifest into something exactly yeah they don't it's not for no anywhere. reason not at all 
Like, bro, said nine to five until you're I can until you're what do you call pension. it retired. And please, pension. Do you know what's crazy? You know these situations where like banks would no, mm, I don't know if it's a thing where banks go down or where you have a dodgy lawyer or you have a dodgy like investor or a dodgy someone who's dealing with your finances basically. Mm. You see when people lose their pensions, it breaks my heart. It really does. No, that is sad. It's like. Sad. It is sad because how sad. many years of your life did you give to that company? And some people stay in the same job since they're 16. Mm-hmm. One of my aunties started in a job when she was 16. She's still there, but she's just adv- <laughs> she's just advanced in the role in it. Like she's mm. she's top dog right now. Mm-hmm. But it's crazy to me. People mm-hmm. can just lose their their pension, and there's no. As far as I'm concerned, I could be very incorrect right now. I'll Google this after. But there's no scheme. Maybe you can get. You might be able to get insurance on it. Mm. Is that pension insurance? If that's not pension insurance, I mean, if a company goes bankrupt, what ha- what happens? Because who's going to pay them pension? That pension? Who's paying that? Who is paying that? Like you can't rely on that. But do you know the question? Where go does on. that money go? Because if you put money into a pension, I lie. Even if the company goes bankrupt, it shouldn't matter. It's yours, is it not? Don't or does the company me. just use it and then when it's your time to get your pension, they just give it to you from their bank? Not that, their bank, but you know, from the. That sounds more more realistic. It does. That sounds like how the world like, probably works more time. Mm-hmm. That's sad. That's it shouldn't sad. be like that. It shouldn't. <laughs> not me. It should not. Could never. Not you. I will never, in the name of the Lord, the universe, the creator, the fucking any energy that exists. This bit's contradicted itself four times. Yeah, really. we're going to get into it in sex. I knew you were going to say that. Watch. <laughs> Watch. Because I ain't contradicting She just fuck contradicted all. every. We're not going to contradict every, fuck every, all. Go on, say Shit. it. <laughs> Wait, what point was I making? Oh. I yeah. will not be in a position where my pension could be taken away from me. Mm-hmm. I will not be in a situation where I need a pension. I plan on having some kind of income that lasts me for the rest of my life. Amen. Chat to me in five years when chat I can her. tell you that we're... Chat to me. Chat to her. Come to me. Hey, she don't need no say, say less. Just chat to her. Just chat to me. She'll chat tell her. you. I ain't got to talk anymore on that, innit? Hey. <laughs> chat to me. Chat to her. She'll tell you. Chat to both of us. Chat to me. We'll I'll tell you. We'll tell you. We'll tell you. We'll tell you. We'll, tell you. we'll, we'll sit you. down and we'll, um, we'll be at one end of the table. Mm-hmm. You'll be at the other end of the table. Mm-hmm. And we'll tell you, innit? We'll tell we'll you say how we did it. We'll write a book one day. We'll have a documentary. Hey, ebook. Remember I said that. We'll have a documentary. We will have a documentary. We'll have a book. We've, we'll have we've already been filming ebook. it. Ebook. We've been filming it. We've been filming, filming it. it. We know our destiny. Filming. Like, come on now. Yeah, you can't. Baby girl, don't do it. I Anyways, need to pee, though. You're going to have to hold can it. Can I pee? Can I pee? Can you pee? Guys, I'm going to pee. Go pee. I've told you now so I can go. Go Bye. Go, you have to get permission like when you're in fucking primary school. Um, are we on? Was that it? Are we on the last segment? I don't know if we finished what we were talking about. No, I wanted to get into you called me up on you pulled me up on the mic. Oh, but when Let's you go. when you Go on. When you thanked Say every it. every god, every universe, every mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, easy. Oh Baby did acrobatics. Yeah, same. She got me too. <laughs> the double double one. Go on then, speak on that, speak on that. No, at me. Man said the gods. Like there isn't one. I said, said the universe. She said I don't know whatever what else she said, but she she named a lot of things, which is very co- it contradicts every single like other thing. Like say you like, hmm. I mean, hmm. yeah, go mm-hmm. on, spit what you want to spit. Go In on. my spiritual beliefs, mm-hmm. I'm extremely spiritual for you. As those of you who haven't kind of figured that out, mm-hmm. and then me on the other hand, I'm a, religious. I'm religious. So yeah, carry on. She's pulling me up on the fact that I said a god, a lord, however I said. If you're, you know, if you're spiritual, you know, we still believe in a God. We still mm-hmm. believe in a creator. Mm-hmm. Did she just have in her mouth? Uh, it's one of her toys. Oh, we still believe in a God. <laughs> we just believe in a God in a different way. Mm-hmm. That's calm. Yeah. So I, didn't, I didn't pull you up on believing on oh, a God. Okay. I pulled you up on believing on the God, the universe and the Lords and the... Same thing. And the... Also do have energy. Also the Lords, energy. Lords and the God is, just, is the same concept to me. But in my beliefs, your God is... You reach God within you, innit? Mm. Your God is just your higher self. You can't... Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Long story Go short... I feel just, like this is a whole... It's a whole... Do we leave this for... Any? Because we're already at an hour and a half in. We leave this I feel like we can talk about cool. this. Next topic. Next, yeah. next pod. Guys, next... This is a this yeah, a foreshadow. This is a in itself, innit? This a, is a foreshadow. A hey, she's writing this. She's that's noting a, this oh, right now. Oh, it's already on there. I promise you, it's already on Okay. Hmm. However, we're not done. We're not done. We're not done. Oh, I'll, I'll let her continue, innit? No, no, no. She's kind of dragging, Not on the topic. I'll let her continue. No, no, no. Oh, voicemail service. It's voicemail service. It's voicemail service It's voicemail time. service, guys. Please record your message.
Yes. Bing, bing. This is our third segment. Leave your message I after think this the tour. One of my favorite ones. Who wants to go first? In it. Um, my caller or your caller? I say your caller first. My caller's gonna go first. Yeah. Let's um, let's find it. So voice one service, guys. We have a caller from our audience. I know this is episode one, but we have an audience already because we're audience, isn't it? we're lit like that. We got, so yeah, we got a good support system. Yeah, we got someone calling in. They're gonna give us our their dilemma and we're gonna give them advice you know because whether it's a dilemma or just a situation they're mm-hmm. gonna get out just they're gonna get our unsolicited opinion unfiltered yes i mean mm-hmm. where the hell okay here we are i've been waiting to listen to this all day we haven't heard this by the way we don't know what yeah we don't know what's coming up we don't he's also anonymous for those callers that want to be anonymous mm-hmm. this caller, for example is anonymous anonymous but let's go Hey guys, so I have a dilemma which I knew you guys were the perfect candidates to get advice over or from. Um, This is a situation that has been going on for about a month. For context, I've been on a spiritual journey. All my friends are aware of it. Um, I've kind of failed a few times. Um, For example, I struggle with smoking. Um, That's my biggest falling short. Like I keep going back to smoking. But I've done a really good job of remaining celibate and not speaking to any guys, etc., which is why this is now a dilemma that I need advice on. So somebody kind of caught my attention a month ago, and a lot of people have caught my attention over the last few months, but I've kind of ignored it because I know the journey I'm on. But this one's a bit difficult to avoid because they live on my floor, so we have loads more interactions than somebody I might just see in the street and be like, oh, they're cute. Do you know what I mean? So um, we've been seeing each other here and there, here and there, here and there, but... It's getting to a point where I feel like the person is developing feelings a lot faster than I am. Especially because I told them from the start, I don't think I'm ready for a relationship. Um, But they knock on my door every single day. I have to sometimes mute all of my devices so that they don't think I'm in the room. (laughs) Sorry. Um, Sometimes I have to lie about my whereabouts. (laughs) Someone else might even be. It's not funny. It's, 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 you know, it's a nervous laugh right now, but sometimes I have to go to extreme lengths. You know what I mean? Um, also, we did engage in what we would call sexual intercourse, but the thing that has really led to me being in this position is um, it was revealed to me upon engaging in sexual intercourse that um the individual's penis was the size of my pinky finger which um is very worrying considering their height is nothing short of six foot ten (laughs) so having a dilemma where i now want to cut ties with this individual not only because they kind of threw me off my celebrity journey they've thrown me off my personal grind i'm unable to leave my room at certain times afraid that i'll bump into them in, in the corridor but I'm very worried about what the consequences of that may be because if this person is acting this way already, am I going to put myself in danger by expressing that I don't anymore want to engage in this? Um, I feel like I'm within my rights where I already laid out in the beginning I didn't want a relationship, but how do you guys think I should go about ending it? And please take into consideration that I'm the type of person that overthinks and how do I do it without hurting the person's feelings? Um, also, I don't know if this is going to be something that is relevant, but I just want to let you guys know, the person is unaware that I think their penis is small. <laughs> Damn. That was something. If you're terrified for your life over a guy you met a month ago... Red flag. Red flag. Crazy red, flag. red flag. All the red flags. Hey, red flag and my breed is a bull. First of all, if you're terrified for your life a month in... That's a mad red flag. Mad. Not only is it a red flag that he's... You're terrified for your life. He's showing up at your door. At If he's not shouting you and saying, oh, can I pull up? Do you want to do this? Do you want to go out? Do you want to... Da, 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 can I come and chill? Because if it's not pre-planned, I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to go outside. I don't want to. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hmm. I was going to... I don't want to be black. I don't want to be black. I want to be white. Like... <laughs> But yeah, if if he's showing up at your at your yard, that's not even cool for someone, even someone you're just talking to, not even just someone who you've been chilling with, you've been, you know, you slept with them. 
that's not cool for them to show up at your yard mm. without just saying, it doesn't matter. Like, without calling first, without messaging first. And Come he has on just now. to lie about your Common location. Common decency. What? You have to lie about your location. I'm not going to lie. It's only going to get worse from there. Mm-hmm. Because at what point is it where you man it in a relationship or you... This seems like one of those situations, you know when you find yourself in a relationship, mm. that you just, you, you, you didn't mean for it to get there. You mm. just entertained it a bit too long. Mm. And you suddenly you end up in a situation where it's like, okay, I can't get out of this now mm. because we're basically married. Without a breakup. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's looking like it was turning into one of those situations where you're not happy in whatever it turns out to be. And that is the most important thing. So, how does she break it to him? How does she break it to him? I just, I mean, I guess you can start with the whole personal space thing. Mm. Just be like, I'm not going to lie. Or even the whole spiritual journey. Mm. But then how do you say to someone, you're hindering my spiritual journey without That's sounding easy. like an arsehole? That's Man like said- am I the arsehole question you are hindering my spiritual journey though yeah, like i feel like anyone can respect that yeah you ain't even got to bring up all the things yeah that are pissing like you man you gotta respect that spiritual mm. you're like come on now yeah and if you can't if you can't respect that any if you can't respect that then why are you entertain like him period mm. like you, then shouldn't you shouldn't even have a conversation if he's not the kind of guy that can that can respect that and say okay cool I can appreciate that you're not trying to be with someone right now. So me being in your life is hindering your journey. If you can't respect that and you can't take that on board, then... I don't give a flip. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a flip. Fuck. Flip. <laughs> That's the difference here. Flip. Fuck. <laughs> so, so yeah, no, baby girl. End it. Dead it. Please. Please. Yeah, but how on how do you tell him? You just tell him, innit? You just tell him. I, I can't feel like lie. honesty, I'm such a fan of honesty. It will keep mm. your heart at peace. Mm. Just be honest. And it's it's yeah. not that hard. And you can be honest without telling him that his dick's small. Oh. Yeah, which is a whole side. You don't side. need to include that. Yeah, I feel like that was just the cherry on top. That was not just only the, is he showing up. That was the confirmation. Yeah. You know, like how you might be unsure on something? That was the confirmation how you should just yeah. do it. And it's like, if you like, can't, yeah. If he's got yeah. the height and he hasn't got the facilities that come with the height, mm, it doesn't make sense. should come with the height. One plus one does not make two. Yeah. One plus one In is it, suddenly mm-hmm. making 0.5. Yeah. 0.5 inches. That. Smaller than <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I'd say, just, just tell him in it. Just say, you're hindering my spiritual journey. You mm-hmm. ain't got to offend him. You ain't got to bring up any bad topics mm-hmm. just tell him you're hindering my spiritual journey mm-hmm. and, and the beautiful yeah. thing about that i feel like someone would respect that someone like, should re- if they don't respect that if they don't respect move. that that's an issue you need to move house because if they're not respecting that they're still gonna be showing up at your yard mm-hmm. they're still gonna be doing the most they're still gonna be mm-hmm. you're still gonna have to lie about your location like mm-hmm. that's not the one man's lying about your location to someone who's not even your man First of all, lying to your man about your location is crazy. Oh, that that one's borderline cheating. Though. Yeah, that's basically <laughs> cheating. Lying to someone about your location, you they shouldn't be entitled enough to even know mm. where you're at. To even mm-hmm. feel like they should know where you're at. Like that is entitlement and that is not that should not run in something that's not even a relationship. Even in a relationship, but you know. But yeah. Yeah. There's your advice. Call number one. Oh, I forgot we have, we have another caller. Two. We have another caller. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Hello. Um. Shit, I need advice in it. You know, um, I'm gonna steal my teen. Do my thing in it. Keep your lal. Whatever what turn I see snow bunnies, I go to the gym to avoid them. And guess what? Snow bunnies. People say I don't like black girls. That's not true, bro. It's just that. We're in a bunny country, bro. So I want to know how to avoid these snow bunnies in my DMs and in the gym and on the streets. How do I avoid snow bunnies, bro? I need help. I need help. Damn, that's the dilemma. Just Hill. Like that. Hill. Snow bunnies. I said I need slow money. Yeah. Snow bunnies. Slow, slow money? Slow money. Ain't no one slow money. Ay. Regardless of whether they're a snow bunny, a light skin babe... A dark skin babe. babe. If you want to avoid, if you're if it's a halal and you want to avoid females, if you're on your dean. Yeah. Why? Then be on your dean. Yeah. You can't just say you're on your dean or say you want to be on your dean and not be on your dean. I don't think these snow bunnies correlate with your dean. They don't. So why are you entertaining it? Yeah. You don't want to see them in the gym. 
Mm-mm. Don't look at them. Mm-mm. Don't see them in the street. And I know there's eyes. thick girls in the gym. And there's some thick. Them <laughs> girls in the gym. Thick. Them gym. Yeah, the gym. girls in the gym. Those thick. gym bodies are different. Come on. How? How do you have said in 2024? <laughs> Yeah. 2024. Whoa. Next year. We're on that gym team. Are you putting it on your, on your vision board? Already on it. Well, it's not on my vision board. It's in my... Notes. No, my vision board. Pinterest. Mm. It was also on there this year. Which, granted, you I was did on my gym. shit for like six months. I came to gym with you. You did. A little cardio in that. I'd never... little like, running, You milk. did cardio. I did like one second. No, what did you say? I put one calorie. <laughs> I did burn one calorie though, so Anyways. that's all that matters. Yeah, if you're, I feel like you're just putting your situation yourself in situations where you're seeing those females. Where's the way thing? he's, he, the way he's put it though, is that he's addicted to white girls. Man said snow bunnies specifically. Do they really have that much of a hold on you? Does the females have that much of a hold? Let's on you? say oh, your mother is black, your sisters are black, your 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 brothers are black, your mm-hmm. your 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 aunties are black, your family is black. What is it about these that about these snow bunnies? Yeah, I don't. I don't mean snow bunnies in a in a in a malicious way. Just just a white girl, in it. Yeah. But snow bunnies is a cute that. name. I wish my I wish light skin's name was snow bunnies. We just got light skin. We what just got light what skin. Light bunnies. Imagine. So you know, finish the top, finish the dilemma, and then we'll get into that. Just a quick one. I don't even know what to say. Just heal, in it. Just heal, in it. Yeah. If it's halal. Every time you see a female associated pray about with something it. bad, yeah, pray. Every pray time about you see it. a female, get on your knees and pray. Hey, mm-hmm. right there and then. Mm-hmm. That's, that's all I have to you say about that. You better call on your God, man. Yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Anyways, mm. I'm walking past the car the other day, and I was looking cute. I was in some jumpsuit. I was looking cute as fuck. Mm-hmm. Tell me why some guy shouts out his window, hey, caramel. That's a caramel. That's a Man them. Twix. 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 Man said galaxy Dairy caramel. Dairy milk. No, dairy milk. Dairy milk. I didn't. <laughs> Please, female, um, mandem, for the love of light skin, dark skin, white babes. Period. Just stop just, it. Yeah. Stop it. What do you expect me to do? Chase stop. after your car? What? When you're catcalling out that car, yeah. what do or you expect? Anything. Do you want me to run after it? You want me to do, do a U turn and be like, oh myself my through the God. window precisely? Oh my oh God. Oh my God. What? What? You called me oh. caramel. Caramel. Yeah. It's one of the ones where it's like, okay, cool. You caramel. think you're doing something, but I'm offended. Caramel. Right. You couldn't think of a better compliment. Hey, beautiful. That does not feel like, oh, hey, you. Isn't it? Oh, hey. Like, Caramel, objectifying yeah. right there and then. That tells me every single thing I need to know about you. All you care you. about is the colour of my skin. Mm-hmm. Like, How many females do you move to that day? You mm-hmm. know I said this to a guy at... What party was it? There was the, the last house party we went to. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, that's my favourite line now. Every time someone moves to me, I'm like, How many females do you move to into the, in this place? Mm-hmm. How many people did you use that same line What did he say? Do you remember? Like, what do you think he said? He's like, none. I haven't said it in none. Oh, none. of course. Of course. Of Niggas course. lie. Every, Every time. time. Every time. Yeah. But anyways, that brings us to the end of the pod. I think it's time to Damn. wrap this one this up. This bitch is cut out. <laughs> <laughs> I had nothing else to say. Damn. I had nothing else to say. I mean, I guess. Okay, guys. Well, that was ATT Tuesday. Catch us every the Tuesday. ATT Tuesday. Well, every Tuesday we feel like it. Which will be most Tuesdays. Which will be most Tuesdays. But yeah. don't think it's a luck. Don't think it's it's a luxury, not an yes. expectation. Let's say at least three hundred and sixty-five Sundays of the year. Sunday? Tuesdays of the year. Three hundred and sixty-five Sundays. I meant three hundred and sixty. Tuesdays of the year. Three hundred and sixty. There's only three hundred and sixty-five days in the year, let alone Tuesdays. Anyway. <laughs> I was thinking weeks. I was thinking weeks. There's I was like fifty-two weeks. weeks. Yeah, we'll go with. At least 45. You'll see us at least 45. What? 45 Tuesdays of hey. the year. We're already cooking something up for this week. Oh, so. we're cooking. Let cooking. him cook. Let her Let cook him. while my eyes cook. No. AZ is falling asleep. That tells yeah. us all we need to know. It's 2 in the morning, by it's, the way, guys. Hey, it's 2 a.m. right now. It's 2 a.m. What's that sizzle song? It's 2 a.m. It's just called 2 a.m. Right I don't know. It's 2 a.m. Why do I know it, but I don't know the words right now. It's called 2 a.m. by Sizzle. But 
I didn't even fuck Listen, with Suzanne like that because it's low-key demonic. What? But we don't you talk about it. that. You went there. You fucking went there. Oh. That's another topic. That's another episode. <laughs> that's another. Aye, we guys, just thought of guys, two. Guys, guys. Yeah, that's two, that's two topics for the next episode. Duh, you know you've got to come back mm, for the next they, one. They tie into each other. Spirituality versus religion. Mm-hmm. Selling your Scissor. Scissor. Who else? Who else? Summer Remar. Walker. Remar. Remar is crazy right now. I don't want to go there. Go on. Beyonce. Oh, I knew about Beyonce. Yeah. Hey. I didn't want to go there just because it's like Queen Beyonce. Her and that horse is crazy. But we're not going to talk about that until next week. Okay. Next week. Tune mm-hmm. in next week, guys. This was the first ATT Tuesday. I hope ATT you guys Tuesday. enjoyed it. I have been Sydney. This has been Holly. Mm-hmm. Holly Hamadou. Hamadou. Sydney Jordan. <laughs> All of that. You know about that. But yeah. But yeah. Time to put the phone down. Brr, brr, brr. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ha, 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 ha.